Hi, Zach here and welcome to the 12th unit of our Java's Wizard game course. Today what we're going to be doing is start animating our actual sprite sheet that we have. So if we actually go into our sprite sheet, we have three wizard images and three enemy images of, of them just pretty much running around. And we're going to animate that. So if you're on Coding Made Simple, go ahead and look below and I have the download for the animation class that we're going to be using. Now I made this class a really long time ago. It's a little bit inefficient and you can definitely tweak it and look at it and play with it yourself. But go ahead and download that now. I'm going to import that into the game and we're just going to use that base animation class because it's very long and it's it, it's really kind of strung out. You don't really need to learn that. Okay, so here is the animation class. So like I said, it's really long and, and pretty dirty code. So you don't really need to use it. When I say dirty, I mean it works just fine, but you could simplify it into maybe about half the size it is now. But it works great and let's go ahead and use it. So I'm gonna go to the wizard class and let's import right off the bat our, our other two images. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make actually an array of wizard images. So buffered image equals new wizard image. I'm gonna say three. So there's gonna be three to that. I'm sorry, I got that mixed around a little bit. Wizard image equals new buffered image. And that's going to be three. There we go. All right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and say wizard image zero equals this. Copy that two more times. One, two. And this is going to be column two and column three because that's what our sprite sheet is. And then I'm going to initialize a new animation. All right. So up top, I'm going to say animation anim. And then I'm going to say anim equals new animation. Make sure this is below when we actually initialize our all of our images. And I'm going to say three because that is the first speed that you want your image to animate at. So you can play around with that value. And here I'm going to say wizard underscore image zero, wizard underscore image one, and wizard underscore image two. And that's going to initialize the new animation of all of our images that we want to animate. So in our tick method, I'm going to say anim dot run animation. And then, so that's going to be constantly running that animation. And then in here, what I'm going to say is if velocity x equals zero and our velocity y equals zero, in other words, we're not moving, we don't want them to still animate. So I'm going to just make them have that uh, just the, the basic just standing position else I'm gonna say anim dot draw animation G X Y and our offsets gonna be zero all right so let's do the same thing for our enemy so here I'm gonna say buffered image enemy image equals new buffered image three because we have three as well say zero here copy this paste it down two more times change this to one and two I'll change this to five and six we'll initialize a new animation class so anim and then I'll say anim equals new animation I'll make this at a speed of three as well and this will be enemy image zero enemy image one and enemy image two. In our tick method, I'm just going to run that animation. So an, uh, anim dot run animation, and then here we're just going to anim dot draw animation g x y and zero. So let's run the game, and just like that, we can walk around. Our enemies are now animating, and we have a game now where you can animate. So now we've made the game very, very lively, I guess you could say. Awesome. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Let's see if I can grab a crate here. Yep, cool. 